What's up, YouTube? We've gotten a ton of requests to make giant nachos. That's right, you can see those requests everywhere. We've both been super excited to do this, but neither of us could agree on one recipe. And with that being said, we have a versus. That's right. That means there's a poll, guys. You need to vote. What's all this? You already started the recipe? Yes, I already started when you weren't paying attention. JB doesn't know I'm doing this. We have started a competition for giant nachos, and I, of course, I want to win, but I have a feeling he's up to no good. Ba bam Tostadas. That's cool, you bought them already made. Line them up, grab a sharp knife, and cut them into giant triangles. Make sure it's nice and straight edged, and voila! Pull for me, guys. Now just a little oil, and into the oven. I'll be back when I've got a pile of these to show you. So let me get nice and crispy. Yes, that's the color we want. These chips are looking pretty golden brown to me. Let's put them aside and hide them from JP because he can't know we're doing this. Stop. Pretty big, right? Oh damn, those are cool. Thank you. I didn't know that she did all this, guys. Did you know she did all this? I get what you're doing though now. You're doing like loaded nachos, right? Yeah. One thing I'm doing that's gonna be different than JP's recipe is I am going to be making my seasoning from scratch. So we're gonna put in our chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, red pepper flakes, oregano, paprika, cumin, salt, and pepper. Just gonna mix this together. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of Mexican seasoning and one cup of water. We're gonna bring that to a boil, let it simmer until everything is evaporated and you've got your beautiful meat sauce. We also have to prepare just a few other things. We're gonna make a pico de gallo by dicing up some tomato, onion, some cilantro, and mixing in some salt, pepper, or an apple cider vinegar, stir that up because you want all those flavors to combine and go in together and be all delicious for the pico de gallo. So you had already cooked all this prior? When you were sleeping, I was working. I have some catching up to do because guess what? I haven't even started my recipe yet. So I wanted to go fancy. I wanted to make a crazy nacho cheese sauce. Make sure you still vote for me even though Julia's helping me. I got your back, boo-boo. Don't worry about this. We don't need that right now. We're gonna make a roux. Coming over. You gotta grab the flour out, right? Flour and butter. Half a stick. Woo! A quarter cup of flour. Toss that in. Let's whisk this up nice and good. Get that raw flour taste out of it. Now we wanna add in a cup of milk. Okay. And because we're doubling this recipe up, we're gonna need two cups of milk. We're ready to take this off the heat. We gotta add in our cayenne. This is up to you how much you wanna add. Then add in some salt. Start sneeze. adding in our cheese. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. For all of our friends who ate the nacho cheese sauce, I'm sorry. That's some good nacho cheese. Okay. Yeah. And once this all melts together, this is gonna be the creamiest, most velvety nacho cheese sauce you've ever seen. And I cannot wait for you guys. You didn't get any Velveeta for it? Let's see this. No Velveeta. Sometimes Taco Bell will just put all the toppings on top. I'm not gonna do that. We're making layers of toppings. We're just gonna put on a layer of meat. Maybe this could look better. Do you want me to heat it up? Maybe we just won't have that layer in the build. No, I'll show it. <laughs> here, here. There. Pearl! Open it like a bag of chips. I was trying, but it tore funny. How many nachos did you make? I guess if I knew this was your vision, I would have agreed with you. <laughs> oh my god, I hope I don't drop this everywhere. Yeah, you're making me nervous. Is it gonna fit? I don't know. Oh, it's not gonna. Oh, it does. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, we gotta take that one tray out. You know when you go to the movie theater and you got those nachos and they're all in like the little tray thing, the little dipping sauce of cheese? Tostadas. These are giant nacho chips. Tell me they don't look like a nacho chip. Perfect. You get your tostada, you just go down in there, dip it, and look at this. Mmm. Dude, it tastes just like the theater. <laughs> but giant and messy. Are you gonna pick that up off the floor? I feel like I'm at Regal Cinema right now. <laughs> Gotta make sure this isn't burning. I think these are good. Plate your thing, JP. We can't wait anymore. Right. Every Our customers are waiting outside at the party. Row one. Row one. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, 
just like the movie theater. And then there's always a side of the cheese sauce. This is the coolest thing. It's a giant tray of nachos. This is how you eat them, guys. Like you're at the movie theater watching your favorite movie. I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna enjoy my show. You're not even watching anything. Just don't show the TV. I have something that you're gonna be jealous of. While I watch shows, this is what I'm gonna have next to me. Oh my goodness, those actually look incredible. Guys, we got loaded nachos and we got movie theater nachos. Where'd my sauce go? No, it doesn't look as good. It's okay though. That's right, because it's always time for nachos. Always, no matter what day. That should be a t-shirt. It's always time for nachos. This is delicious. This is like eating a quesadilla, except without the top, but it's extra crispy. Because mm. I got a little bit of cheese, a little bit of meat on every chip. You're right, it's like a quesadilla without a top, and then you fold it like pizza, and boom, you got a quesadilla. With Woo! Meat. Let's go, do, do, do. I got the nachos. You got the nachos. We'll see who wins because we'll have them all vote. Hi. Oh my God. We brought nachos. Wow. It's great. It's very yeah. really good. You like it? Yeah. All right. It almost looks like, like a pizza, like a taco pizza. It's great. It's so del nacho. <laughs> I know Julia's are pretty lit, but what do you pick? I have to pick this. I have to admit. I picked this. No. Oh, you yeah. picked mine? I'm gonna have to go with Julia. You're gonna go with Julia too? Yeah. It's okay. Boys stick together, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell me who's right. too. Okay. Yeah. These are way better. Both, okay. Those are way better than these. Why did they have to be so big? Um, giant nachos. We're proving to the audience, thanks to Sebastian, that giant isn't functional. It's not. <laughs> I've never had it. <laughs> For everything. Uh, I'm a girl with really small hands. It makes everything else look bigger. <laughs> 